Switch me on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack is Not a Toy. My name is Matt. And you guys know if I'm wearing my Clippered Minimatic t-shirt, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite little details on the Ghostbusters Proton Packs. That's the Clippered Minimatic valves. You had the R701 and the R331 that were used pretty much interchangeably on all the hero and semi-hero Proton Packs from Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. Each pack had one mounted to the pack itself and one on the thrower, but there was a great deal of inconsistency as to whether they used the 701 or the 331. Some packs had two 701s, some had two 331s, some had one of each, and even in those situations they could be placed in either arrangement. I did a video series called Proton Pack Detective where I spotlighted each of those screen use proton packs, and one of the details that I pointed out in those videos was the placement of either the 701s or 331s on each of those packs, going as far as to show whether the label is facing either up or down if we had that information for each of those packs. Now, if you're a pack builder and you're wanting to replicate a certain proton pack, it's fun to go back and look at those reference photos and see which of those valves you need for your particular proton pack that you're trying to replicate. You may need two 701s and none of the 331s or vice versa. You might need one of each. So when you're building a pack, that's part of the fun of it is seeing which one that you're going to need. And Clippert is still in business and you can go directly to their website and buy an R701 or an R331 from their website, or you can go to a site like gbfans.com and buy from the shop there. But what you're gonna find is a brand new Clippered valve that is different, just slightly, from the valves that were used on these screen use proton packs, as these have evolved and changed a little bit as they've manufactured them over the years. So if you're trying to make a pack from Ghostbusters Afterlife, like the Phoebe pack, you're going to want a more modern one because they actually used the modern versions on the Phoebe Proton Packs, the hero packs from Afterlife. Uh, two 331s will get the job done for you for a Phoebe pack. But if you're trying to replicate a pack from Ghostbusters or Ghostbusters 2, you might be more interested in getting a vintage Clippered Valve or multiple of them for your Proton Pack. The problem is, these are becoming more rare and they don't pop up on places like eBay as often as they once did. So you really have to know the details and what to look for when you are trying to source out a vintage Clippered valve. And I'll show you those here in just a second. But first, I wanted to tell you about a purchase or two that I made last week. I have eBay saved searches for 331s and 701s, but most of the time they just pop up either brand new uh, Clippered valves or ones that are resin copies that are made for the Ghostbusters community. Uh, it's very rare that you'll see the vintage ones pop up on there, but I got hits for both a 701 and a 331 within a day or two of each other, and I was able to purchase both of them on the same day last week, and they came over the weekend, so I wanted to show them to you now. So first is this 331. And this thing is clean and looks brand new. I don't know if it was ever used, but you can see the seven, or I'm sorry, 331 right there. The main thing that really shows the difference between the 701 and the 331 is this knob right here on the top of the cap. And it does not have a hole on the cap on the side for a set screw like the, the 701 does. You're going to see the lettering right here is different than what you would find on a modern clippered valve. The modern ones, the letters are more stretched out, whereas these look to be more of a normal print kind of font. Very happy with this 331. I didn't have a vintage one, the one that's on my thrower 
on my fully built pack is a modern version, which has been fine. Um, but it's cool to finally get a vintage one for my collection. Over here, I have the 701 that arrived this weekend as well. And again, this thing looks like it was either never used or hardly used. And these were from two different sellers. I just happened to get lucky on that. Again, you can see it's got the lettering that is like a more of a normal print. It's not stretched out. This one does have the hole for the set screw on the side. The, one of the differences that you'll see between this one and a more modern one is the uh, beveling on the top here on the cap and the um, knurling on the cap that does go pretty much two thirds of the way down the cap to about halfway on that hole for the set screw. But one of the differences you'll see between the 701 and the 331 that was pointed out to me last week by one of my viewers here on the channel was the 701 does have the clippered name etched in the top here along with abbreviation for Cincinnati, Ohio here on the bottom. Whereas the 331 does not have any at all. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not. And as I hold them side by side, you can see that the 701 might be slightly taller part of the way because sometimes these don't tighten all the way down and the 331s do pretty much sit flush with the top there. I did have a th another 701 vintage one that I bought. You may have seen in the videos that I made within the last month or two about this one. It arrived without the cap, if you remember that, and then I had to wait for the cap to arrive. But uh, these are virtually identical as well. This one's a little bit greasier. And I've had this one already mounted to my Max Factory pack, so it does have different screws in it because that is one thing that is consistent on the Proton packs. The one that is mounted to the thrower, whichever valve it is, generally maintains the um, silver fill lister screws that come with it. Whereas the ones that go on the pack have socket head cap screws that hold them to the pack there. So I'm very happy with my purchase. I'm glad to have one of each of these. I really haven't decided yet how I'm going to go about mounting these. I know that um, I've leaned toward having another Spengler pack, which would mean it would have two of these 701s. Um, but now that I have a vintage 331 in my collection, I'm going to think about it and kind of go back and look at those individual um, packs from my Proton Pack Detective series and decide really which one that I want to use as my guideline when I finish my Max Factory pack, whenever that might be. So I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit of something about the clippered valves and uh, where they were and just the inconsistency of them. I do find that interesting. It was one of the things that really got me into making the Proton Pack Detective series and seeing the individuality of all of the Proton Packs. Um, so I hope you find that as interesting as I do. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'll have more coming out pretty soon. Appreciate you. Have a great day.